Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished and honorable members of the National Assembly, honorable members of the State Houses of Assembly, honorable ministers, honorable commissioners, other senior government officials, last but not the least, our women and our youths that are here. Good afternoon and welcome to Kaduna, the political capital of northern Nigeria. I want to begin by appreciating our elders that are here and the organizations representing various opinions in northern Nigeria that put this engagement together. It is quite commendable and I would like to suggest to our elders that henceforth this should not just be a private initiative but should get the full support, endorsement and financial contribution of the Northern State Governors Forum. Because this is not partisan. This is multipartisan. This is trying to present the case of Northern Nigeria across party lines. So I think it's beyond a private initiative that these organizations have to struggle going around for funding and so on. I'm quite sure that the next set of governors will be quite happy to support this kind of initiative four years from now by the grace of God. I want to thank Asiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu for resisting all entreaties that he should not honor this invitation. He was told that this whole arrangement is meant to endorse a particular candidate. But he insisted that even if the arrangement was to endorse a particular candidate, I will come and I will change their mind. We thank you for your courage, for your confidence in our people, and for coming here to present your case. I'm speaking as your host, and governor of Kaduna State, so I will not campaign for my candidate. But you all know who it is. It is Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and by the grace of God, the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. When the Northern APC governors met one Saturday evening and took a position that we insist that in our party, power must rotate to the south. We did so out of the understanding of our sense of history. We always ask ourselves as northern governors, what would Sir Ahmad Bello do in the circumstances? What would Tafa Abalewa do? What would Amin Kano do before we take a position? Because we are the inheritors of that legacy. The 19 northern governors and the minister of FCT are the direct inheritors of the legacy of Ahmadu Bello Sadona of Sokoto, Allah Masa Rahama. We are conscious of that burden of responsibility, and that is why when we debate to take decisions, we have these illustrious sons of northern Nigeria as our reference point. And we took that position without regard to the interests of some people who insisted that after eight years of President Buhari's tenure, he should be succeeded by yet another northerner. We felt as northern governors that this is not in our character. We are not like that. We are people of honor and justice. This is what our grandfathers did. This is what our parents, some of whom are sitting here, did. And it is our duty to protect the sacred word of any northern politician. When we say we'll do something, it doesn't have to be written. We do it, we deliver on it. And that's how we started the process of delivering Bola Ahmed Tinubu. <laughs> we are confident that with the collective support of all of us, with the directed wisdom of our elders, with the energy of our youths, and the compassion of our women in northern Nigeria, we will make Nigeria great again. So I assure you, whatever you see here is real. 
we do not pretend. We have received you because we believe in you. And we will continue to do so till the very end until you are declared the president by the grace of God. <laughs> On this note, I thank the organizers once again and pledge on behalf of the Northern State Governors, some of whom are going for their second term, that we will support this kind of initiatives as, gov as st Northern State Governments in a similar way that we came together as Northern State Governments and decided to build 100 megawatts of solar power in each Northern State and the FCT on our own. We will support similar initiatives. On behalf of the government and people of Kaduna State, I wish everyone safe journey back to his destination. And I wish you very successful deliberation. I'll just end on one note. Your Excellencies, the organizers, our elders. In 2013, I went to Anambra State as an official of the APC to witness the by-election for governorship. Your next guest, Peter Obi, was governor. He got me arrested and detained for 48 hours in my hotel room. Now I'm the governor of Kaduna State. And he is coming to Kaduna. In addition to the police and the SSS, I have one mechanized division Nigerian army here. If I need to arrest and detain anyone. But we are northerners. We are civilized. We don't do things like that. I wish you all safe journey back to your destination and God bless you. All right.